I'm hoping that it does taste like vegan chocolate. Oh. Duh. Hi guys, what is up? Happy Easter to everybody out there. Even if you don't celebrate Easter, we all love chocolate, don't we? I thought I would make a vegan chocolate taste test video only because I have accumulated quite a bit of chocolate over Easter. A lot of people don't think that vegans would celebrate Easter or like get chocolate eggs or anything like that. Mind you, I don't have any chocolate eggs only because they actually sold out in my area. But I do have lots of vegan chocolate that I really, really want to try and I wanted to let you guys know my opinion on these vegan chocolates. I've only tried one of them before previously. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, first off, I have the Living Earth brand chocolate. I've already opened this packet and Moogle has tried to get into the side here. As you can tell, she's a naughty little kitty. But anyway, all 100% vegan up the top there. The Living Earth, I decided to get the creamy flavor because I'm thinking maybe it's not going to taste like dark chocolate but actually milk chocolate. All right, let's get into it. Nom, 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 nom. I'm sure you guys are at home eating chocolate as well. All right, so here's the block. Creamy. Okay, first off, it tastes a lot darker than I expected. It's kind of, I don't know if creamy would be the right word. It's kind of like, um, you know how like you grind up coca beans and the more fine you grind it, the more creamy it's supposed to taste. It doesn't taste creamy as in like cream, <laughs> if that makes sense. It tastes creamy as in like it's been pasteurized a lot. But I didn't taste the coconut. The people who aren't a fan of coconut in their food, they can taste coconut milk really, really easily. I did not taste the coconut at all. It's kind of a lighter dark chocolate, if that makes sense. But yeah, no, it's still really nice. Okay, let's go on to the next one, yes! This is the chocolate that I've tried previously, the caramel chocolate with Kaleido. And I really, really liked it and I thought I'd give, I'd stick with the brand because I love... I wanted to stick with this brand because obviously they were vegan, they were producing vegan chocolates and the caramel chocolate that I tried with Kaleido was very, very yummy. So I thought I would buy this again. Oh wow, this one's like a completely different colour to the other one. I'm looking forward to having a piece. <laughs> eh, get out. It kind of looks like one of those little caramel lollies. Definitely caramelly. That one's probably the most caramelly taste that I've come across apart from me making my own caramel slice. I wonder if it's got dates in it. It's made from raw cashews. Wow, that's impressive. I'm impressed that this doesn't have dates in them. A lot of vegans know that you can kind of pasteurize dates and it tastes very caramelly, but the fact that this is just made of raw cashews, that's so good. Oh my god. And yes, definitely a very, very light cocoa taste. Yeah, I definitely prefer it over this creamy one. Shh, buddy. Shh. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to scare this bird away. I feel so bad. We have rainbow lorikeets. And they come and hang out with us like every afternoon, but they're so loud. You can hear them in all of my videos. Woohoo! This one's the one I'm really looking forward to. Hazelnut! Okay, so this one is quite a similar colour to the normal, yeah, the normal creamy coloured one. So, make sure I get all the caramel flavour out of my mouth. Alrighty, so hazelnut. Not as hazelnutty as I expected. I think the dark chocolate sort of overrides everything a little bit. Definitely, it does taste like hazelnut, but I was expecting more of a punch. Especially after the caramel one. The caramel one really, really tastes like caramel and there's a lot of caramel flavor, if that makes sense. Where this one still tastes a bit more cocoa-y. Out of the Loving Earth ones, I would probably go caramel first, and then hazelnut, and then the creamy. I also went and grabbed some really random sort of unknown brands which also have vegan chocolate and I grabbed them in different flavours as well. So Noble Choice is probably the cheapest vegan chocolate I can find. I think it was $3.50 or something like that. So the vegan symbol is just there. So this one is mint. I was kind of reluctant to, reluctant to get this, this flavour. I do like mint chocolate but mm, I don't know, it's not really my favourite if you know what I mean. So let's just see. So this is definitely dark chocolate with mint, so I know what I'm in for. It's gonna be really dark chocolate 
There's a hint of mint flavor. Let's give it a shot. Doesn't smell very minty. Oh my god, these pieces are weird. Get out! Oh my god, okay, so the blocks are like really big, but they're like in little triangles, so you must have to... Oh, they're kind of like little hotel room chocolates. <laughs> That is good. Honestly, three fifty a pack up. That is so good. It just tastes like it just tastes like something so familiar that's not vegan, like a normal chocolate mint chocolate. Unless they make all chocolate mints with dark chocolate, I don't know. But what did surprise me was there's like little crunchy bits in it. There's like little chunks of mints in it. Mmm, it tastes so good though. I wasn't expecting that. If you like mint, you're really gonna like this. And this one looked really, really cool. Sleek design. I really like this one. I have high hopes for this chocolate. They had so many different flavors, but I am a sucker for coconut, guys. Coconut chocolate is literally the, the best thing in the world. I remember before I went vegan, there was a particular brand, I think it was a coconut slab or something like that, and it was coconut chocolate. Oh, so good. All right, last but not least. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for the birds. <laughs> Oh, it looks very dark. It's like the darkest looking one so far. That part concerns me. That's what it looks like. It smells really dark too. Alright. Makes me worried. It's hard to tell. All I taste is mint from the last one, damn it. It definitely has that like coconut chocolate taste that I do really miss, so it definitely kind of satisfies it. But the aftertaste is really strong, sort of cacao. They probably should have put less cocoa in it and made it slightly lighter and flavoured dark chocolate. But other than that, that's almost on point. That is so yummy. So out of all of the chocolate that I tried today, I'm actually gonna say that Noble Choice Eskel is probably my favourite. One, because I didn't think it was gonna be as good as any of the other ones. Just because it sounded cheap, it was probably gonna be lots of cocoa. But I don't know, the mint flavor just made it awesome. It is super awesome. Next, I really honestly think it's probably a tie between the coconut pico coconut and a loving us caramel. Two radically different flavors. And then I would probably put hazelnut and creamy at the end. Although, mind you, these are vegan chocolates. And I couldn't get any of these at Woolies or Coles or any sort of major chain supermarket. Considering that they're not kind of huge big brands, they're doing really awesome. Like honestly, the worst ones are probably on par with like regular chocolate. So definitely it, but I am going to go hide these now because I haven't told Corbin <laughs> that I ate all the chocolate. But anyway, I thought you guys would just like to know a few brands of chocolate that you can get that's vegan. But yeah, hope everyone has a really awesome and lovely Easter. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment if you want to say more. What's your favorite vegan chocolate brands, if you know of any? I know there's Sir Williams, I think, uh, that's normally at Coles and Woolies. Um, there's also Moo Free. I really want to try Moo Free chocolate. Apparently it's really good and they sell Easter eggs for it. Just couldn't find any in my local area. And I didn't even know until like literally an hour ago that these two brands existed. So a big shout out to Pico and Escal Chocolates. Oh yes, you made my Easter. <laughs> Anyway guys, enjoy your weekend, have lots of fun, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more little vegan goodies, and I'm also going away, traveling to Sydney and everything really really soon, so there'll be lots more vlogs and lots of exciting things in store. Alrighty guys, bye!